I'm just heading down along the Jurassic Coast. It's a beautiful early morning start. I found a few small ammonites preserved in the fool's gold already on the beach. And I'll show you those here. Nice little collection of the ammonites there. Found in the concentrations on the beach where iron pyrites is prevalent, the fool's gold. Just scraping away in those pockets on the beach to try and find the little ones there wearing out of certain areas where the iron pyrites gets washed in to small pockets by the sea's actions or scoured out. So I'm heading down along the Jurassic Coast, see what I can pick up as I walk down through this section. It's a really nice morning. It's 8.45 a.m. the low tide, so really quite early start to try and find some fossils here. And uh, I'll see what I can pick up, see what I can find as I head down and show you what I'm looking for. As long as you don't dig in the cliffs and sit, you're allowed to find these fossils that wash out along the shoreline. I'm on the tide line now. You can see where the sea's washed up the seaweed and uh, I'll be fossicking in amongst the rocks there for the little ones preserved in the fool's gold, maybe uh, fossil bone or something of that nature too, as I walk down this section. A bit further up the beach now, looking for fossils on the uh, tide line, and I uh, have spotted a piece of the bone from an ichthyosaurus. And uh, I'll just show you down here as I go. I'll just catch up with that piece that I spotted on the surface here from a Jurassic ichthyosaur. 190 million year old piece of the bone material on the beach. You can see here the blood vessels there in the piece. I shall wash it in fresh water when I get home. But it's really been tumbled around. The attrition of the sand and sea has ground down that piece of uh, bone. And uh, up here, these are the mudslides where all the material is washing out. The sea doing the work for you, washing the material out of the mudslides. And you can see what a mess it all is. So here is part of the landslide going down out to sea. And uh, just where my boot is, you can see part of an ammonite there. May even be more of the ammonite in the beach area. Let's see if I can prize that ammonite out. No, it's only a fragment there. So it's getting nice and light now on the beach and uh, a good pocket of iron pyrites, the fool's gold here. And uh, well, I'll just have a bit of a rummage around on the beach area in the iron pyrites, moving small rocks about and just looking through the concentrations of the iron pyrites. There's one under the rock. Nice little one there, preserved in the fool's gold. And uh, I can uh, pick that one out a bit at home and get right down to the center of that fossil using a little uh, pin to uh, get out the center of that one. A bit eroded here on the outside of the uh, whirl. Lots of iron pyrites though. All good spots to find the ammonites in where you see the fool's gold on the beach. Let's see if there are any more of these ammonites can be found in this section here as I look. The best tools your eyes looking across the surface of the beach, but uh, ah, oh, I thought that was a whole one there, just part of one preserved in the fool's gold, just a piece of one. The sea's done its worst to damage that little ammonite preserved in the fool's gold there. So that's the view from the 2008 Lyme Regis landslide. You can see down there in the distance out towards Charmouth and then uh, along the Jurassic coast towards Golden Cap in the distance there. The sun's really determined to try and come out this morning, but uh, I haven't seen much of it and my hands are absolutely frozen. So I'm going back into town now. No one out on the beach, as you can see. Absolutely uh, no one today looking around for the fossils. So. Uh, I've had a good little haul, just some small pyrite ammonites from the Jurassic Age. It's been a bit of fun picking those up, so I'll head back 